dodo. Sorry guys, I'm trying to find a place of the light when you see me. But apparently it's not gonna be enough for you to see me good. Ever. This is video comes. I can't like be all cozy. I have to stand up and be uncomfortable. In this fucking land. We're gonna keep moving so I can be comfy and post a video. Uh, which apparently, I guess, is not a thing. It's just somebody that I randomly got friends with out of nowhere. Oh, Jesus, this light sucks everywhere. I think I might need a new bulb. I'm just saying it works. Yippee. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, it's a really dark video, so it really fucking sucks. But at least you can see my pale skin and my face ish. Yeah, ish. And like, I don't know why it's all weird like this, but it's totally weird like this. But anyway, um. I did see Mocking Jay Part Two, and it was fucking awesome. It was great. I'm not gonna tell any of you guys about it. Like, I'm not gonna tell you what happens because I don't want to spoil it for those that are watching that haven't seen it yet and want to see it. But all I can tell you is that Penem wins. That's all I'm gonna tell you. It's really good guy. And Katniss, one more thing, Katniss finds her happily, happily ever after, it's just, so with who? The suspenseful part is with who? Um... Got off at eight. My ass hurts. I've been sitting since like eight thirty, and it really 
kind of is like blah. And oh, uh, what else? Oh yeah, so I told this girl that I used to call my best friend exactly everything that I thought about her and it turned into like a huge fight between us and then she took my last message and copied and pasted it to Facebook and then it turned into something even bigger and she got her fucking mom involved and I personally, in my personal opinion, I feel like that's a week. We have to get other people, especially parents, involved in your battles between you and somebody else, an individual battle that just shows how weak you actually are. I understand support, but when whoever you recruited is like in the fight with you, like talking all this mad shit, blah, 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 what the fuck ever. It's something totally, completely different. It's not okay. Oh, sorry guys, I'm tired. And then... At first, I was telling her in a very mature, angry way exactly what I thought about her. And she went overboard, and then it turned into this whole thing where, like, I said something. can't remember exactly what it is, but I can look it up and show you, because I have Facebook in this other window. And I did my first bikini, like my snow bikini shoot, yes, on, yeah, yesterday, because today's Sunday, yeah. Um, it turned out really great. Not all the pictures are finished being put up yet, but it turned out really great. Um,. <gasps> Oh, Jesus. Um, sorry, my friend Mason is asking about my shoot. Right, I was looking up that thing. Um, I found out my photographer actually also also does couple photos and band photos, so that was neat. Couple like the first shot is free. Then, like, I mean, the first shoot in general is free, and then you just have to pay $20 an hour afterwards for any other shoots that you want. Um, if the post hasn't been removed yet, which it hasn't. Like, it, it was just this whole thing. My not friend now, um, like, she just messaged me out of the blue, you know, like, why do you hate me? And I was like, oh, I don't hate you because, you know, of all this and all that. And then she started 
to accuse me of continuing to say shit to her ex-boyfriend that she's friends with, also who I'm friends with, who I was friends with first, who I made them date. I didn't technically make them date, they had already liked each other, so I just pushed them to date. And, um, yeah, it just turned into this whole thing. First, in our private messages, She, like, yeah, she said, why do you hate me? And I was like, for Christ's sake, I don't hate you. And then she was like, well, then why do you say that stuff about me? Am I that bad of a person? And then I was like, you mean the stuff about the person I think you're becoming? She said, I loved your pics, by the way. I'm not becoming anything. I've been trying to find out who my real friends are because nobody talks to me anymore. But what am I becoming? I haven't done anything for saying because no one and I are still friends. So what the fuck? Well, I said... Jesus, will you get off of you said this to Noah train? I was, it was forever ago. Get over it. And thanks, smiley face. For the record, I try to talk to you, but it seems all you ever want to do is just talk to me when you're bitching about something I did forever ago or your, or something I supposedly did. I don't even know who you are anymore. It's sad when I came and recognized my own best friend. And she said, I didn't say you said anything. I say you didn't say anything to him, so try again. Actually, try again, miss. I've been trying to spend time with you for weeks, but you ignore my texts. And before you assume I'm saying anything about him, how about you fucking ask? I'm sorry that I'm this terrible person. All I want is for someone to actually want to hang out, but I get nothing in return. My phone has been broken for the longest and she should know that because she's on Facebook enough and then when I turned my when I got my new phone before that one broke um, I had no text from her so um, I told her I haven't been ignoring your text I'm so sorry my phone took a shit on me weeks ago and I can't fucking fix it. I'm sorry my new phone broke and I'm sorry I'm poor and can't drive. Don't have a car and I'm sorry my boyfriend's mom is such a bitch that we, that we don't, that we never even have the fucking car. I'm sorry I can't control my aunt's health. I'm sorry the cysts on her ovaries started hemorrhaging. I'm sorry she has benign tumors on her ovaries. I'm sorry that I'm going through shit too and I can't always make time to be on Facebook because I'm so fucking busy trying to find a second job and cleaning up after my fucking sloppy and nasty ass sister. And I'm sorry I'm busy trying to help my aunt out and make sure the house is all set up and clean for my family from Ohio to arrive. I'm sorry my life isn't as fucking great as yours. I'm sorry my boyfriend can't find a fucking job so we aren't living check paycheck to paycheck. I'm sorry my current job isn't giving me hours. I'm sorry I have bills to pay with small checks so I can't see you. I'm sorry that I'm too busy trying to survive instead of just pissing around and giving no fucks with my ex is chasing after me. She said, yeah, because I give no fucks and I piss around. How about you try the fuck again? One, I never once complained about any of that shit. I have been nothing but understanding about, but you sit here and say that I only get a hold of you to complain. And that's a lie. I've been trying to see my best friend and actually got a hold of you today to see if you wanted to hang out, but forget it. But you fucking better remember, if you needed something, all you have to do is ask, and I'll see what I can do. Sorry for trying. In all reality, the last, like, two, three months, all she has ever done is just message me to bitch about something that I supposedly did. 
and then I said, you know, maybe that hadn't always been the case, but that's been the case recently, and you know I got your back always, but sometimes I want to be more than just a sounding board, and I, it would have been great to hang out tonight, but clearly there's other issues at hand here. She says, like, what? I don't want to hang if we can't even get along. I said, because I'm under more stress than usual, I can't even begin to tell you what's on my mind because it doesn't make sense and you wouldn't understand. She said, well, I don't care if you don't understand, the, if I don't understand the whole point of being someone's friend is so you can vent. I said, yes, and there's nothing wrong with that, but if all you're doing is venting and not trying to be a friend, then what's the point? She says, that's not all I do. Again, I've been trying to spend time with you. All I did was ask a question. I wasn't looking for an argument. I said it wasn't an argument until you started throwing accusations, and again, my phone is broken. You're on Facebook enough, you should know that. I posted a whole status about it. And she was like, was no accusations. I was telling you I've been trying to get a hold of you. It's not like I knew about your phone. I said, bullshit. The very first long fucking ass paragraph was throwing accusations. Like I said, you're on Facebook enough, you should have seen the status. She said, well, I haven't seen no post. I have. I actually haven't been on Facebook. I'm always working. And, you know, I don't doubt that she's always working, but for the last two weeks, week and a half, she has been on Facebook every single fucking time I have been on Facebook. And then I told her, I'm sure you have been working, but not enough to be on Facebook because you, not enough to not be on Facebook because you've been on Facebook every day that I was for the last week. She said, actually I have. You can ask my mom. I never have Wi-Fi. I said, that's not what Facebook says. She said, well, even my mom could tell you. Again, she's dragging her mom to this shit. That's so childish. So then she said, at this point in my life, I don't give a damn what anyone, well, so I said, at this point in my life, I don't give a damn what anyone could tell me. I know what I know, and that's the end of it. And she sent a thumbs up, and then like 20 minutes later, I messaged her. I'm like, plus, even if you did lose me, debt, even if you did lose me, why would it matter? You have tons of people to replace me. Why am I so important? Because she does. And then she tried to turn it on me like she does with everybody because she's just that manipulative. She was like, sure, there, whatever helps you sleep at night. I don't talk to anyone other than him because he's the only one that gives a fuck anymore. But sure, there, because you just seem to know everything. But in all reality, you don't know anything because all you care about is what you hear from other people. You never care to ask for my side. So I said, bullshit. All I've ever done was listen to your side. Take your side. If I cared, listened to, or believed anyone else, I wouldn't still be talking to you. Why don't you reevaluate your life, think about everything, and then talk to me because I don't take bullshit and frankly I'm fucking tired of your bullshit. I know more than you think I do because I do listen and I do evaluate. And I've come to the conclusion that you've been a really shitty friend, and I don't like it, and I don't care for it. Instead of stringing people along and basking in their love and attention and drama, why don't you do something productive and stop fucking victimizing yourself when you aren't a victim and never were? You've been treated like shit by guys who you dated. Boo-hoo. Who hasn't? Girl, the fuck up. Everything isn't about you. Oh, and I learn. Oh, and learn how to type. It's annoying. Because, like, she's always typed with, like, letters instead of the actual words. Like, you and R and what the fuck ever. And, um, in the same message, I said, there are people in this world with with bigger problems who have been through so much worse and guess what they survived 
They came out survivors, so why don't you quit playing the poor me card and realize everything isn't always about you. Your problems are no bigger than anyone else's. In fact, compared to other people I know, they're minimal. So until you've been raped, beaten, or molested, you don't have the right to bask in your stupid fucking relationship sorrows. I'm sorry that you've never been treated right. I feel for you, I do, but quit asking for pity. I swear, sometimes you're worse than my grandmother, because my grandmother, she always asks for pity and always twists people's words around and makes it look like she's the victim, so other people will do stuff for her. It's retarded. And then I continue to say, stop caring about yourself, and for once, give a damn about somebody else. You're shallow, self-centered, and have a sharp tongue, making everyone look like a bad guy, but in all reality, you're the real villain. That's not me, that's psychology. You're not the same Desiree I <clears throat> You're not the same person I knew and I don't like who you become. Talk to me when I get my wife back because I'm through with this imposter. It's time to fight your own battles. I put in that last line about fighting her own battles because clearly she brings her mom into everything. So then she was like, I'm not even gonna read this, I'm done talking to you. Which, clearly, she did read it, and clearly she wasn't, because she posted a status quoting exactly what I had told her. And in that last message I read, she posted a status quoting exactly what I had told her. And then, like, ended it with words from my so-called best friend. Yeah, fuck you, and yes, I'll tag you, I'm done. All you care about is what everyone else has to say. So then, like, her aunt read it and was like, wow, that is low and just plain mean. And, um, my best friend and I have disagreed, but not in a million years would I ever say something like that or vice versa. And then her aunt, her aunt comments it again, you may have had some pretty crappy things happen to you, but that doesn't mean your life is worse than hers. Talking, like, directly towards me. We all have had bad things happen that I would not wish on my worst enemy, but that's not a reason to be hateful. We all say shit we don't mean and don't always think before we do. We are all human. Then I saw that she tagged me and I said, hey, at least you have some balls now. She's all like, grow up. And then she says, oh, I've had plenty. I just didn't think you'd be so two-faced instead of being my friend. Like, clearly, I wasn't two-faced because I told you. And then this other chick was like, well, and then she said, well, what? And then her friend said, I completely disagree with this load of shit is all. And then my friend said, I'm directed towards Desiree, I'm sorry that you felt that the only proper way to relieve your frustrations is to publicly post on Facebook. The fact that you feel so inclined to judge other people's relationships indicates that you feel threatened in your own. You say at the end of your post, all you care about is what everyone else has to say. By posting this online, you realize that anyone who is friends with the people you've tagged can see it. I think it's you that feels the need to hear what everyone else has to say, otherwise it wouldn't be posted so freely on the internet. So then I was like, preach it, girly. And then the friend I was fighting with was like, how about you preach it to someone who gives a fuck? Not my fault people are two-faced and can't be a true best friend. So I said, if I was two-faced, I wouldn't have told you now, would I? With a smiley face. And then my friend um, said, you apparently give a fuck by posting your drama online. It's not my fault you chose to bring this publicly where anyone can see it. If it bothers you that people reply, try sending it in a private message with those it concerns. This fucking dude I went to high school with that has no place to say anything fucking 
commented and was like, sorry Desiree, I know we aren't friends or anything, but it popped up into my news feed. Zara and her friend both, why don't you both buzz the fuck off and talk shit somewhere else? Who in the hell gave you the right to judge someone else and how they perceive and how they perceive pain and sadness? That psychology bullshit it is. I don't know who taught you psychology, but either they completely fucked up with it or you couldn't understand it. Honestly, you are both being the biggest childish sack of shit, especially as someone that seems to have been your friend. I ain't perfect by any means, but I would never say this to anyone that has had respect for me. I seem to recall you saying quite a bit that people didn't support you, and I see why. It isn't because you... Where is it? It isn't because you weren't pretty on the outside. It's because you are ugly on the inside, and I hope that karma comes back on both of you. Again, he has no place to say anything because me and him were never even friends. And then my friend says, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't say any of the things that I've been accused of. I was simply stating that drama should not be made public on Facebook. I am in no way, shape, or form a perfect person. I didn't want to see this on Facebook, nor did I want it to escalate. I have not talked shit by saying what I have said. All I said is in my comments, I don't know her much at all. I just didn't think it was appropriate to bring personal issues to Facebook so easily and publicly. I'm in no way judging in how she perceives pain and sadness. Everyone is different. You're both being the biggest child of sacks of shit. Wait, you just tore into me about judging, which I hadn't, and you're calling me such names? I'm sorry you misunderstood my postings. You and I both didn't want this to pop up in our feed. So then the guy I went to high school with says, Okay, well, then I apologize to you. I got caught up with anger because I hate people who treat others like trash. I am sorry, and I hope that there aren't any um, hard feelings I did misunderstand. So then the friend I was fighting with says, thank you. And then she says to my other friend, oh, and for you, I agree posting it may be childish, but one, it's my Facebook. If you don't like what I have to say, block me. But I posted this not for opinions or because I want someone to say something. I did it because I'm tired of two-faced people thinking they can walk all over me because she is as far from perfect as I am. Um, where is it? Yeah. I have not lied. I have not manipulated anyone. It's not my problem she wants to be stuck up when, unlike her, I have been making the effort to spend time with her because she's supposed to be our best friend. Not only that, but if a friend is concerned about someone, they should talk to that person about it, not the entire world simple. So then I said bullshit, and like I said, if I was two-faced, I wouldn't have told you, smiley face. I'd be the first person to admit that I'm not perfect. Far from it. I just got tired of your bullshit. Manipulative people always turn words around to make the opposer look like a bad guy, and that's exactly what you do, because it is. Every single time someone confronts you, you're so caught up in your lies, you're actually starting to believe them, and I feel sorry for you. I pity the person who you've become, and I'm tired of letting you drag me down. I got tired of your bullshit, I don't take bullshit, and all of this friendship has been recently is bullshit. When my phone gets fixed and I've actually seen how much you've blown me up, quote, blown me up, then I'll apologize. But until then, I'm not sorry. I won't be sorry. And I'll, s and I'll see you in hell looking forward to being roomies. Smiley face heart. So she's like, whatever then. Fess up to your BS for once, you childish bitch. And I said to the guy I went to high school with, 
you don't know shit. You don't know me, and you can get the fuck out of this. I was at the top of my class in psychology. Just because I didn't graduate with a 4.0 doesn't mean I'm not stupid. I know what the fuck I'm talking about, and until you've looked at it from both sides, take your no right to judge ass out of this. But then I said to the friend I was fighting with, I said, you know, happily, smiley face, you fess up first. But explain to me what BS would that be? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Question mark, smiley face. Because apparently I am so, such a bullshitter. And then so she says, oh, I have, honey. You're the one just turning shit into a big deal because I confronted you for talking behind my back like a bitch and then tried to say I only got got a hold of you to confront you when I've been trying to see you for months, but it's cool. And all the BS that came out your mouth is childish as fuck because it's not my problem. Him and I are still friends, and I'm sorry you're so butthurt about it. I said I'm far from perfect, but your mouth is a train wreck when you think you know it all because you seem to enjoy the drama. Which is bullshit. And I don't care if they're friends. Like, that's cool. I'm actually glad they're still friends. But it's bullshit. So the guy I went to high school with comments to me. He's like, I don't know shit. And maybe in your class, though I highly doubt it, I look at everything from both sides with the evidence that is presented. As I know how you act prior to this, miss, don't tell me that I'm a good person even though you're trying to be nice. I can honestly say that you are in the wrong. If you knew anything about psychology, you would know that the absolute worst thing you can do to somebody is try is try to say what they experience is insignificant. You don't walk in their shoes, so what seems like nothing to you may be significant to them. And it isn't your post, so I don't know. If she would like me to stop commenting, then I have no problems with that. So then, um, the friend I was fighting with said, Oh, you know, you're definitely fine. It's time for people to grow up. It just shows that she was never a real friend if she could do and say such pathetic stuff. Oh, and did I mention immature? So to her, I'm like, Drama, please. You have more drama in your life than I ever did. This isn't about you. This isn't about him and never was. Feeling guilty? And that little cute face. I don't give a shit about whether you and him are still friends or not. I'm actually glad you are. Do I know it all? No. Do I recognize signs and symptoms? Yes. Do you have any of those? Yes. I will admit that I am the one dragging this on, but newsflash, you are too. What did I say that was behind your back? Because I told him that I'm sorry for what happened because I feel like it's my fault. If that's considering talking shit, then okay. Was I not supposed to... Where am I? Yeah. Was I not supposed to have any friends but you? I'm sorry for telling someone else how I feel. If that's a sin, then crucify me. I have no problems dying for the truth. So then to the guy I went to high school with. Um, I told him, I'm like, you're right, it was wrong, but you know nothing of me, of Desiree, or our friendship. So even having this conversation or whatever it is with you is completely pointless. Because it is, because he knows nothing. So then he comments, you know, sometimes, oh, some, yeah, sometimes it takes time to root those people from your life. And if I were you, this is true Desiree. I would just let her keep running her mouth like a little kid. It's totally your choice, though. I know you don't know me, really, but if you ever need another friend that won't do this type of stuff to you, feel free to message me or whatever. And it may be pointless to you, this part's to me, but the fact is that you are talking all this shit, but I've seen you do more than half of this shit that you are accusing her of. It's a lot of the pot calling the kettle black here. So then, 
she comments, did I say anything about you saying something to him? I know more than you think. But starting shit just because you think it's okay to put people down, I hope you feel like a great person. Sad part is all I wanted the entire time we've been arguing is to call you because I need my best friend, but obviously that's not what you are. I'm so sorry that I'm apparently a self-centered bitch, which is false, when I'm pretty sure I'd ride or die for your crazy ass no matter no matter what, but apparently it don't work both ways on your end. And then she said, there is no friendship between you and I. And then I was like, you swear what? Because she had commented, um... She had commented something else. Um, she commented, um, I can't find it, but she commented something like, if you post something for attention, if you post one more thing for attention, I swear. So then that's when I'm all like, you swear what? Damn right I feel like a great person. After I put the cute face after you swear what? I've been trying to spare your feelings for so long that I'm actually pretty euphoric right now. Smiley face, I'm sorry you can't handle the truth. I also know how immature I'm being. But sometimes you gotta get down to someone else's level. That sucks. That sucks too. Too bad my phone is broken. Wait, it gets better. I'm still not sorry. Run along now. Go play with your boys. I've said my piece, smiley face heart. And then she was all like, Hun, you're as low as they come. If I remember correctly, for the longest, you were the one constantly sleeping around. Unlike you, I have friends, not my problem. It's not my problem that he is an ex. Get over yourself. You ain't perfect by far. So then I told her, you know, never said I was, sweetheart, and I'll gladly admit to that one, but at least I never played with someone's heart. They knew what it was. Because... I mean, I'll gladly admit to it, because I'm not proud of it, I'm not happy with it, but I'm also not going to sit there and deny it. I made mistakes, and I learned, and I changed. Unlike most of these other whores out here, they can't do that. And then so she's like, I haven't, unlike your ass. So then I'm like, well, where's your proof with the cute face? And then she was like, I have plenty. Just get the fuck out with your petty ass. And don't say something about our friendship ever again because you're not even close to a good friend. So I said, and? With a smiley face. She's like, bye now. No wonder so many people have had issues with you. So I said, by people you mean you. She said, LMAO, sure, concerning you fuck everyone's exes. So then I said, like who? Because, one, I never fucked any of her exes because the guys she sleeps with are not my type. And for two, it's not bad that I slept with other people's exes because that just means that they upgraded. I mean, you look at this, and you look at their ex-girlfriends, and then you're like, well, damn, why weren't you with that in the first place? Yeah, that's how it goes. And it kind of just, like, went on everywhere. Like, I had another friend whose mom commented, well, the friend that I was fighting with has this other friend. And she comes to, this is crazy, I wouldn't have said this to my worst enemy. Clearly this is someone you don't need in your life. I think it took a lot of courage to post this in Tagger. Then people will see how evil and cold-hearted she can be. These aren't words from a friend at all. Just because your problems aren't as bad as others doesn't mean they aren't bad. That's like saying, oh, you broke your hand. Well, quit crying about it because someone else has broken multiple bones at once. Your problems shouldn't be belittled just because things could be worse. With that logic, you shouldn't enjoy things because things could be better. 
I love you. Don't let anyone get you down. They're not worth it. You deserve to be you deserve to be happy and surrounding yourself with people that would say something like that will not make you happy. I love you and I'm here for you. So then like I said, my friend's mom my other friend's mom commented and said, I cannot believe that you said this, especially as it is something someone else has said to you and you do not like how it felt either. Both of you need to grow up. Everyone has problems and as it is happening, you need all the support you can get from your friends. She has supported you through a lot and this is not how you repay that. I am ashamed of you both for, public, for this public display. And there, this is not how you should act if you are her best friend. So then I replied, you know, I used to be. I got tired of her lies and her manipulation and her bullshit. I got tired of holding my tongue. I understand it, it was wrong. But the funny thing is, I'm not sorry. So I'm not sorry. She had to hear it from somebody better me than somebody else. Because it's true. And she was like, you're the only one assuming and telling lies to get your way. What lies do I tell to get my way? Whatever lie that I tell, I usually get caught up in it. And now I'm 19, I don't even got to lie. I just got to say, oh, hey, I'm going here and I'm doing this. And I'll be back at this time. And then, like, my aunt's are like, okay, that's cool. But, I mean... If I'm having somebody over, you know, I gotta be like, oh, hey, you know, so-and-so is coming over, is that, is that cool? And then she's, she's either like, yay or nay, and then she's like, nay, and then I'm like, tell that person, I'm like, oh, well, you can't come over, I'm sorry. And then this fucking dude over here that, I don't even know who he is. But he was like, wow, y'all need to grow up and not sweat the small stuff. Two-faced people are a waste of time. Drop your two-faced friends. They'll never change. They can be two-faced and still tell you what they did or said. That just means they aren't trying to hide the fact they are two-faced. So then I said, the funny thing about it is I'm not two-faced and never was. I don't talk shit. I didn't say anything in there except how I feel. I didn't do anything except tell her how I feel. If you want to call out Two-Face and be my guest, but maybe you should look it up first. What's even funnier is that I don't care, smiley face. Some people just can't handle the truth, smiley face heart. And then he's all like, ha, 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 ha. And so then she comments to that. Um, yeah, she comments to that some people just can't handle being a real friend. I was a real friend. I was good at being a real friend. I'm still great at being a real friend. Like, I have a best friend now. It's not this bitch I was arguing with. And she's just so much cooler and we get along so much better. And she's nothing like this bitch I was arguing with. So, that's pretty fucking cool. And then she just, like, tagged me to a bunch of stupid links and whatever, and then we finally, like, I don't know, we started talking in a more calm manner, and then she was talking to me, so we were talking, and I still called her on her bullshit, but in a more polite way, and she was just like, whatever, and I'm like, okay, because I'm, I'm tired of going around in circles, and she's like, whatever. Because I am. Because all that we've been doing for like two days is going around circles. It's insane. And 
me and my fiance are doing good. He's done recording, now he's kind of just hanging out, but he'll let me know when he's come home, which would be great, because, like, I really miss him, and I really want him home. And speaking of, he's online right now. He hasn't read anything that I said, though. Yeah, no, he hasn't read anything. That makes me kind of sad. I don't think he wants to read it. I think he's kind of just trying to avoid the whole topic. Because, like, we were talking about, like, finances and stuff. And, wow, this video is 45 minutes long. And it kind of just, I don't know. Like, I'm in the kind of mood where, like, everything sucks. I mean, I was super duper duper over the top euphoric. Like, I was in a great mood, you know, had a good day at work, all that fun stuff. And then, shit, where's my lighter? And then, like, oh, it's my boobs. And then, like, just this shit happens. And, like, well, I mean, not this shit, because I was fine being like that, when, like, to Desiree. Well, <clears throat> to my friend, not friend anymore, the bitch I was arguing with. I was fine with being like that to her. It made me happy to tell her all that because it took a lot off my shoulders and a lot off my chest. And I know my voice sounds all types of fucked. I'm sorry. Like the weather and shit. <sighs> Plus I was smoking. I've been drinking a lot of water my window's open, so my room doesn't smell like smoke when my fiance gets home, and yeah, the throat's kind of dirt. all over the place, but I mean, that's kind of just life now, really, like, all my life is right now is just talking to my best friend, and, like, the super cool one that's just like me, she's the only best friend that I have, because me and that bitch aren't even just now. But, I don't know. Like, oh, hey, my fiancé messaged me. He might be mad at me after he sees everything. Or he might not. I don't know. I send this really long message about how I feel alone and everything. And just, I don't know, I hope you didn't take it the wrong way. But I'm going to get off of here. And actually probably go downstairs and call him. Later, guys.